joining us in studio this morning. Robert Reynolds back with us. Morning, Robert. Morning, Mike. Good morning, Southeast New Mexico. I want to say hi to these people real quick. Yeah, listening. give some shout outs. Joanne, Chris, Maria, Cheney, China, I mean, China, uh, China, Tom, and all my poetry people. All right. Very good. So uh, I'm guessing, well, we'll talk about your poetry people here in a minute here, but they'll be getting together here pretty soon. So uh, for folks that aren't familiar, Robert joins us uh, once a month and uh, keeps us up to date on a lot of things happening in and around town, uh, not just here in Roswell, but he'll talk about some other events happening in neighboring towns and communities, um, just keeping us up to date on things happening around town here. So uh, we it looks like he's got a list of 31 items now, so we got a big list we probably should get to for today's yeah. here. Uh, no updates on Senior Circle, right? They're still closed, still nothing new there, right? No. Okay. It, uh, I, I called and uh, there's nothing. Okay. Well, if we get any new information there, we'll definitely share that with folks. Yeah. Of course, uh, the Genealogical Society, that they meet at the Wilson Cobb Library. They're back to meeting uh, here. What, talk about their meetings and when they meet uh, and all Their that. meetings will be this coming Thursday, the 12th, May okay. 12th, at the Wilson Cobb Library at 1.30. And uh, everybody's welcome to come. Yeah. And uh, the dues is just four fifty for a single and $9 for uh, double. Very good. And, of course, they meet the, the second Thursday of every month. Uh, which will be this Thursday. Yeah. And uh, if you love genealogy, uh, they, they like you said, it's very affordable to become a member. Uh, with that, you get access to the Wilson Cobb Library uh, and, of course, their online database of stuff, too, yeah. and everything else. So uh, if you love genealogy, that's another resource for you to help find uh, find that family tree and putting it together and all that good stuff. So now You can go into the library Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, from one to four. Okay. If you just want to go in and look around. And okay. Stuff. That's their normal uh, library hours there. Folks yeah. want to come visit. And then, of course, while you're there, you want to learn about becoming a member. I'm sure they'll be happy to tell you about that. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, give us an update on your High Prairie Poetry Society. You oh, guys are yeah. having your annual picnic coming up, aren't you? Yeah. Good deal. Uh, I've been the president for 11 years of the High Prairie Poetry Society. And our picnic is coming up May 21st on Saturday at Shannon Hills Park. From 5 o'clock to 9 o'clock at night. Okay. It has a roof on if it's raining. And uh, we do poetry singing and do games. And that's uh, our last portion until September. Okay. Our, our picnic. And so anybody gotta... wants to come out, bring me some food. All right. So come and get all your poetry out of your system for the May. And then, uh, then you're going to take a little break for the summer here. But your 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 summer summer party here is happening again. And then that'll be uh, on May the, uh, what's the date on 21st. that? 21st. May the 21st. And uh, you'll be back out at um, Enchanted Hills Park there, yeah. uh, which is the park off 2nd Street right there near Champion Motorsports and all yeah. that there. That's that park there. So come on out. Bring a covered dish. Uh, if you'd like to come and enjoy some poetry or come recite some poetry or want to learn more about the, the High Prairie Poetry Society, mm -hmm. like I said, this will be their last meeting for for, uh, for till, till, till the fall here. So so uh, come on out uh, on, uh, on the 21st there. And bring me some apple pie. Apple pie. Robert requests <laughs> apple pie. All right. With ice cream or you ever put a slice of cheese on your American or on your apple pie? Have you done that? Delicious. It is, isn't it? A yeah. lot of people don't get embrace that around here. That's kind of an East Coast thing that they put a uh, slice of American cheese on apple pie. It's actually very good. Um, but yeah, that's a lot of people don't know that around here. That's more of an East Coast thing. But this person in Chicago puts mustard on it. Now that's oh, a bit, apple pie. Oh, I'll, God bless them. You will not be catching me with no mustard on my <laughs> apple pie. I, I like mustard. No. <laughs> I'm okay with apple pie, but not not together. <laughs> uh, of course, I uh, by talent right now. They're desperately uh, seeking yeah. folks to donate blood. If you have the ability, they've got blood drives going on uh, weekly, and uh, yeah. would love for you to sign up and and donate blood. It's real easy. That especially uh, they they look for all types, but the O positive is the one that they that they always covet. Yeah. Yeah, that's the universal one. So That helps with the, with the operation and stuff. Yeah, they can. That way, if they don't know what blood type of an emergency, uh, say they have an emergency uh, arrive and they don't have time to find blood type and they got to get blood in them, they can go with the O positive because that's a universal that can go into anybody. So yeah. good deal. Uh, Sun Country Physical Therapy. Give us an update there. Of course, that's where Robert is. Uh, uh, is the reason why Robert? There's less Robert today than there was several years ago. There's about a hundred pounds less of Robert, uh, and, and that's thanks to Sun Country, right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's uh, now so far 127 pounds. Nice. And 
I lost a pound last week. I'm down to 204. I'm very proud of myself. I'm not really dieting. I eat my food, and the gym takes it off and keeps it off. Nice. If not, I might be blowed it back up. I hope not. Well, it's glad. It's, <laughs> and that's the thing that's great about it is you've lost the weight, but you've kept it off. You've been you've been down for years now like this. So this isn't like a fad thing where you lose a bunch of weight and then gain half of it back. You, you, you've you steadily either maintained or lost weight over this, this time. So, um what you're doing, you're doing it right. So, and, and some countries helping you do that. So, folks need help with that or sports industry, sports injuries or physical therapy. They can help with all that stuff. Yes, yeah, so that's taken uh, much walking in the program. I mean, everything it, it, it keeps me going quite a bit. Nice. Well, good for you. I'm glad to hear that. Let they, let maybe they can help uh, some folks out there too. Uh, let's talk about uh, this event here in July with uh, is this uh, with the Eagles? Uh, I yeah. can't really tell what's going. Pecos Valley, something. The Pecos there. Valley Dart Association. Oh, darts. Okay. And the place is uh, Eagle Lodge, thirty-two hundred one South Sunset, and July twenty-ninth is going to be a restoration. And you can go to the Facebook event page, or call five seven five nine one zero five eight nine five or five seven zero. I'm five seven five rather four two zero zero six seven one, and it's uh, for a, a dart uh, contest and stuff. All right. So if you dart players out there want to. You know, uh, maybe maybe you play by yourself and want to, you know, show people, show the world you know what you're doing, or maybe you want to come in and just handle business, but have some fun playing darts there in the, the darts tournament. Sounds like I've seen some dart some dart contests on TV that so many people are real good. Oh yeah, they they take it very seriously. It's it's there's a whole lot more to it than just throwing some darts at a board. Yeah. There's there's a skill set and and a whole thing to it. it uh, unlike most of us just sit in a, in the basement throwing them at them. And show you how to follow through. You're just happy if you hit the board and not the wall or somebody <laughs> I else. I made a wall. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, talk about the Qantas. Of course, uh, the Qantas love, they're always looking for new members. If you'd like to come out, they, they meet uh, uh, that second uh, and fourth Tuesday of every month. Yeah. And they're up for the second and fourth Tuesday of the month. And is it left Restaurant 2103. North Main, uh, phone number is 575-565-8800. Yeah, they meet uh, lunchtime at Cerritos there that second and fourth uh, Tuesday of the month. If you're more than welcome to come on. I guess that'd be today, wouldn't it? Uh, they'd be, they'll yeah. be out there at lunch today at Cerritos. Uh, I think they usually get there about 1130 or so. So if you'd like to go on out and, and uh, learn more about being a Kwana and have lunch, and come on out today. Yeah. Very good. Uh, talk about um, the Rosal Flute Ensemble. They they hold it. They're back doing practicing and doing all that yeah. stuff, right? Yeah, the Flute Ensemble is the Anderson Museum on Thursdays at six p.m. and you must be experienced. Yeah, they want. They're looking for experienced flautists, flute players to be a part of. Uh, they're, they're not teaching people to play flute. No. They're an ensemble of flute players looking for more players to come and more perform people, with them. More so, people to join them. Yeah, so if you're a flute player and uh, or maybe haven't played in a while and want to get back into doing it, uh, the flute ensemble mm -hmm. might be your answer there. So I'd like a saxophone myself. Yeah, I can play no instrument whatsoever. <laughs> that, in fourth grade, I, they gave me the recorder to play. I could play uh, Three Blind Mice uh, on it, and that was it. And it's because it was three notes. It was do 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 That's the only song I can play. Pass that, I'm in trouble. So, Harvest Ministries, of course, they're actually getting into the summer months, the warmer months, and that's actually once school gets out and things like that, their food donations drop. So, if you can help out Harvest Ministries, this is good. I know, um. Coming up here in a few short weeks, the the letter carriers are having their food drive with Harvest Ministries. The mail carriers, they um, we'll we'll have them on the radio here pretty soon to talk about it. But um, coming up here, um, they're going to ask you to leave some food out in front of your mailbox on a Saturday, and uh, and your letter carriers will pick it up, and it goes to Harvest Ministries. So, but uh, yeah, go ahead. It's going to be just there by the mailbox starting. Is that this Saturday? Saturday? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think we've got uh, we've got them coming in later this week to talk yeah. about that. So, um, yeah, that's a great uh, opportunity to to help, especially since the summer months are their quieter months. So they they're trying to collect as much as they can to help get through the summer months here. So um, not only can you help out by uh, being a part of the letter carriers drive. But uh, continue to, to donate and support throughout the summer there, too. So The, 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 the Salvation Army Community Kitchen also needs help okay. for donations and uh, volunteers and stuff uh, all the time. And like Mike said, uh, the summer months, 
They're going to uh, need more products donated. Yeah. Yeah, their their donations uh, dwindle a little bit during the summer months. And so if folks can step up their game during that, that, that would definitely help them out quite a bit. So, yeah. Very good. Uh, talk about uh, the ENMU uh, Roswell Occupational Therapy Program, what they've got going on. Yeah, at the East New Mexico University, the Occupational uh, Therapy, you can contact Dana Sanders or Sam Chavez, and the uh, work director at 575-624-7000, and they'll give you more information. Okay, perfect. All right, let's go to the next page here as soon as I get them off. Uh, Dexter, the Milkman Triathlon. Tell folks about that. Yeah, the Dexter Milk on Top on is June 4th at Lake Bend, 8 a.m. start. You can call the Chamber of Commerce down there for more information. Excellent. Yeah, that's always fun. If you uh, um, if you love to, they do the, uh, it's swimming, bike riding, and running. That's the, the yeah. Milkman Triathlon. And uh, I, I, I got to, I didn't participate because I'm a fat slob, but <laughs> but uh, I, I've been down there for some of those events, and it's really fun and watching everyone compete, and they have a good time doing it, so. But, yeah, uh-huh. get involved. It's a great way to stay in shape and help out, too. I probably could do all of them. I'd probably drown that. Yeah, I, I, I would be, uh, be – there would be a lot of trying and not a lot of doing in my uh, triathlon. I get halfway up in that lake and they have to come and get me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, let's move on to um, the uh, Joy Center and what they some of the fitness stuff they got going on at the Joy Center. Yeah, the fitness exercise, the Joy Center, 1822 North Montana – a 10-week session, you go three times a week, and it's free, and they don't want you to miss if you can help it. You can call 575-317-3503, and they'll give you uh, the more information. Awesome. And then uh, let's talk about the museum, uh, the Garden Club, and uh, they've got going on there with the Anderson and all that. You know, the Flora Design Anderson Museum, it's the Free Garden Club, New Mexico State Flower Show. You can call Pat, uh, Pat and she'll tell you what, when that is, at 575-326. Eight nine four zero. Perfect. Uh, let's talk about the Pecos Valley Quilters. Yeah, the Pecos Valley Quilters the first Wednesday of every month, and they meet at the First Master's Church, Room One Eleven, at five seven five six two two one eight eight one for more information. Okay. Uh, and then uh, looks like uh, we've got an option for folks traveling to Carlsbad um, at the Carlsbad Museum this summer. Talk a little bit about what they got. Yeah, going the on. Carlsbad Museum is uh, it's uh, September, May through September. And uh, it's uh, two exhibitions, the Galaxy, Warriors, and a, and a Sacred Lance. You can call for more information, 575-887-0276. Very good. So if you got a trip this summer playing to Carlsbad, maybe hitting the caverns and stuff, maybe make a trip to the museum and check out some of those exhibits. Yeah. They're there, too. And then grab lunch and everything, too, of course. Uh, and then let's take them uh, to uh, Alamogordo next, uh, to the zoo out there and what they've got going on. Yeah, in Alamogordo, May 13th, uh, 15th. Just coming up here, uh, the Habit, a children's musical play at Flickinger Art Center, New York Avenue, between the 800 and 1100th block from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. For more information, email Eloy at org. Okay, very good. And then uh, what is uh, like a music uh, awards deal yeah. in Almagordo? Talk about that. In yeah, Almagordo, May, May 22nd, they got the New Mexico Music Awards. And it's the 35th annual at the Sandia Resort and, uh, and Casino. You can visit a uh, Facebook page for more information. Awesome. Uh, blues fans, if you like blues music, they got an event in Silver City coming up. And uh, yeah. tell them about that. You know, the Silver City, May 27th and 29th, the Blue Festival at Gog Park, kicking off the Little Toad Creek downtown from 9 p.m. to midnight. It's live performances, May 28th. Uh, at, at one at Silver City at the, the blues, uh, pet.com. All right. Uh, and then back to Almogordo, they've got a, uh, looks like a wine festival or a wine classic coming up here in June as well. Yeah, they got the wine festival on June 25th. And you go to kefbcarts.com. Okay. Good deal. Get your wine on. And that's not about complaining. That's drinking. Just, just <laughs> clear that up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's move on to, uh, is this Cavern Fest we're talking about next? Yes. Yeah, let's talk a bit about Cavern Fest. Now, the, the Carlsbad, June 10th and 11th, the Cavern Fest, the annual live music, they got vendors, and for more information, go to the Facebook event page. Excellent. 
Uh, I want to put on folks' radars uh, in Hobbs, May 30th. They're doing a Veterans Memorial dedication. Tell folks a little bit about that. Uh, Hobbs, May 30th, Veterans Memorial dedication ceremony at 5120 Gomez Boulevard. And for more information, you go to Facebook event page. Excellent. I uh, can't leave uh, Cloudcroft out. Uh, they've got an event coming up here in June as well. Tell folks about that. Yeah, Cloudcroft May 27th to the 29th, June uh, awards at 3 to 4. Okay. You go to, uh, it's going to be at uh, 730 and the annual, uh, for the, the, the Debbie's Dennis, the do teeth, at, at, you go to Facebook a page for more information. Okay. They that do have like a, next. <laughs> a free dental kind of deal thing. Okay. Um, give us an update on some of the events happening at the Roswell Museum here and back yeah. locally. Yeah, the Roswell Museum Art Center. We have three more Thursdays. Uh, for for the for the movies from six to eight. Okay, it's going to be May twelfth, nineteen, and twenty six. It's in the basket room uh, twenty eight. Okay, they got free popcorn, water, and uh, you can see some old fashioned uh, segments of movies. I went there last Wednesday. Nice. And we had, we had four different segments of things throughout the world. Nice. Well, so get out there and do that. Of course, the Bass Art Tournament. That's the old City Council. They when the City Council before they moved over to the Recreation Center. Yeah, uh, or the uh, not the recreation center, the civic center. Uh, they they uh, they used to meet there in the museum and the art center in the the Bassett Auditorium there. So yeah. that's where those films are at. And of course, don't forget their their free second Saturdays as well for for locals there too yeah. with the events. Uh, let's uh, talk about Westminster Church. They've got, uh, of course, if you're looking for a church home, they'd love to have you. But they've got a dance coming up too if you'd like to come participate and shake a leg or two. <laughs> This is West Maybe West not three, but two. Yeah. Six to nine o'clock, the dance. Uh, it's going to be this coming Saturday. It's five dollars a person. They got some food and and, and uh, soda pop and stuff like that and coffee. Nice. And uh, uh, it's going to be Cibola Springs. It's going to be the the. Ah, the Cibola band. Springs will be yeah. They they're very popular and uh, uh, they they know how to pack a house there. So good. They're gonna they they'll put they do great music and stuff. You'll, folks will have a good time. I usually go, but I go for some food and listen to the music. I got up here and dance. I don't know if I make it or not. Well, <laughs> depends how much food you get in here. Right? The slower the the more the food, the slower the dancing. Usually yeah. how it goes. Uh, Spencer Theater, uh, beautiful, beautiful theater up there in Alto, New Mexico. Uh, talk about what they've got coming up. The Spencer Theater in, in Alto. It's uh, the summer season. You can go to SpencerTheater.com, and they'll give you more information. Okay, very good. Get you some summer passes. And if you've ever been in that facility, it's a beautiful facility there. As matter of really fact, a nice. um, friend uh, just got married there, and I was looking at his wedding pictures. And, yeah, it's a beautiful facility there, Spencer Theater. Uh, give us an update on uh, Roswell Job Corps, what they've got going on. You know, Rob, Roswell Job Corps is uh, the 57. It's going to be May 21st, 10 a.m. to noon. It's the open house. And you can call 575-347-7402, and you, they're going to have uh, applications for anybody who wants to sign up for the, for the program down there. Awesome. Very good. Uh, up next, uh, Sun Country, what is that? Uh, pin? I can't, uh, I can't read what you wrote there. I can't either. <laughs> now we're in trouble. It's a pin pal. Yeah, pen pal. Okay. 60 years and older. It's free. It's Wednesday from 1 to 3 at the Museum and Art Center. Oh, okay. And, and you guys to call them to find out. Okay. So if you're interested in probably <laughs> learning about <laughs> signing up and getting pen pals and things, I'm thinking. That. Okay. Now I got I think I follow now. Uh, next up, uh, you're going to have to help me out in this one, too. It looks like Hawaiian <laughs> dance. A, a Hawaiian dance group practice okay. at Calhoun Park, May 14th okay. from 9 to 10. You can call Laura at 575-840-7234. Okay, so if you want to learn uh, to, to do the Hawaiian dance yeah, and with the, the hula and all that, <laughs> yeah, very cool. It's an art form. There's a whole art form to yeah. that. Yeah, it's more than just uh, wearing a lay and, and, and going back and forth. Yeah. There's a whole more to, whole more to it there. Uh, let's talk about um, the Carlsbad. Uh, is that the uh, mayor's artist reception? Is that what yeah. that is? Talk, tell a little bit about that. Uh, the Carlsbad, May 14th, is coming up this Friday. I mean, uh, uh, oh, uh, Sunday, better. Yes. It's a free artist receptionist at Carlsbad Museum from 3 to 6 p.m. Live music, refreshments, and you can call 575 887 
for more information. Very good. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Artesia's having their Art in the Park uh, later on here in May. Tell folks about that. The yeah, Artesia, the Art in the Park, it's the first annual Hargeo Arts Park, whatever okay. that is. Artesia. Halaguenio Park is one of the parks there in Artesia. <laughs> I know that one. I've been, uh, I, I did the morning show there for eight years, so I'm familiar with that. Yeah, Halaguenio Park is uh, one of the well, parks there in Artesia. <laughs> Just say it real fast, and then you just act like, even if you know it's a hard one. And then they, it's then, the you know. council.com for more information. Very good, yeah. <laughs> they usually, uh, their art in the parks, they have a big uh, thing, and they usually do a cakewalk for the band, and it's usually a big fun uh, day there. So if you love crafts and things like that, um, go ahead and make plans to attend art in the park there. And then finally, uh, Robert is offering his CDs for sale he, yeah. when he's not uh, telling us what's going on. He likes to sing gospel music and yeah. and uh, write songs and things, and he's and he's created his own uh, CD of sixteen different songs of Robert uh, original songs that Robert's written and uh, are accompanied by uh, him singing in a piano. So uh, uh, if you'd like to get it, reach out to Robert. Uh, I got uh, I wrote fourteen songs of my own, and uh, uh, they're fifteen dollars. I wrote them uh, uh, over the last uh, six years. Okay, and. Uh, We'll get the phone them in a few minutes. Uh, I got two more places up because we put them. Yeah, in. yeah, go for it. Uh, the Trinity Master Church. Uh, uh, Mother said they give the flowers out to the women real big. They're really pretty. Yeah. And uh, uh, I sing there at the 9 a.m. service. And so far, uh, we've gained six people uh, that come there. I don't know if it came from my singer or not because they, <laughs> they got. We'll say they did. They, they got said. earplugs in. <laughs> 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 and, and then everybody's welcome. They like to see you sing. They don't like to hear you <laughs> sing, I guess. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> then the uh, First Master's Church on Wednesday night, like tomorrow night. Okay. They got their meal. Yes. At 5 o'clock. $6, and right? $6. Yeah. And, uh, uh, it's a great meal. They do. Be, the last one's going to be May 25th. They got uh, tonight, the 18th and the 25th. Okay. And then they're taking the summer off. Okay. And they got some good food. Yeah, yeah. They do it, uh, like you said, that Wednesday night. Bring the family out, and of course, if you want to stay for services afterwards, you're more than welcome. But you can just eat eat your meal and head home if you want to afterwards. That's entirely up to you. So. Yes. But you're invited to come on out and a, a delicious family meal for six bucks a piece. You can't beat it. So, good deal. Give out your phone number if anybody has oh, yeah. any questions about <laughs> either um, either anything we talked about here. I'd like to get a copy of your CD or or any of that, or or want to learn more about High Prairie Poetry Society, any of that stuff. Um, this is the number you should call. Yeah. You call Robert 575-208-9513 and leave my voice message if I don't answer and I'll get right back to you. Yeah. Leave that voicemail and he'll get back to you. He's a busy man. Mm -hmm. so. And I want to thank uh, Mike for having me on the station. Anytime. I, I have fun coming here every well, month. It's really enjoyable. We enjoy having you and it's great. Uh, we do appreciate all the work you do to keep people informed on what's happening in and around town. So and Hopefully I've got some, get some people out of the house and enjoy yourself for a little bit. Exactly. If people say there's not enough stuff going on in town, just listen to a segment of Robert. He'll tell you about 30 things that are going on around town. With all the stuff <laughs> we, we talk about, you have no excuse for doing something. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> Robert's out there doing it. You can do it. So. Yes. Well, thank you, sir. Appreciate it as always, and uh, you guys have a great week, and we'll, we'll see you next time, okay? You too. Thank you very much. All right. Don't work too hard. It's uh, 